Unit 5 quadratic today we'll be talking about 5C, which is predicting the number of solutions in a nonlinear system of two equations. We'll be talking about 5D, which is solve the linear quadratic system of two equations graphically, and E, which is solve a quadratic quadratic of system of equations graphically. Let's start with 5C. So for 5C, you're just looking at the graph and telling me how many solutions there are. To find this, the main thing for solutions with graphs that this comes from intersections. Look at intersections. These are your solutions. Okay. Let's look at an example. We have how many solutions do the following system of equations have? I have to draw something on here first. So I'm just going to draw two nonlinear, so we'll draw a parent function, a quadratic, and I'll do a cubic. So a cubic would come through, uh, I want to do, I'll do a cubic. The one up to. Okay, so all I'm looking for is intersections. Where will they, how, how many times do they intersect? Well, this one intersects here, so that's one solution. And as this goes up, this one's going to keep on going up straighter and straighter. And they're actually going to not ever intersect again. So for this case, there's only one solution. There's only one time where they intersect each other. That's the answer I'm looking for. Let's look at another example. So let's draw again. I'll do a quadratic. Let's go quadratic equation and let's do a radical, but let's see a radical is here. How many solutions are here? Well, how many times do they intersect? The intersection one. Two, they intersect twice, so there are two solutions. So sometimes you have to look at what you can see, and like example one, you have to look beyond what you can see. So we were looking at, like, will they intersect ever again? So you have to always think about that. That is 5C. 5D is solve the linear quadratic system of two equations, algebraically and graphically. We actually get rid of that algebraically. Don't need that. We're only going to do graphically. So we're only working with a calculator. So for example one, I'm going to enter the, this into the calculator. And the next time you see it, it'll be done. So here it is in the equation, or in the y equals. And then the following buttons we're going to hit, I will write this down later. So we go to graph. So you have a graph. Now we're going to go hit the second button, trace. This is calc, calculate. And we're going to look for the intersections from 5C. So I intersect, hit enter. First curve, just hit enter. Second curve, hit enter. And guess, you're going to move the tracer closer to the intersection you want to find. So in this case, the tracer, I'm moving left. So I want the tracer to be right on top of one of the intersections. So I hit enter. That's at 5, 8. I'm going to repeat this again to find the other intersection. So second trace, number 5. First curve, just hit enter. Second curve, hit enter. Yes, move the tracer closer to the intersection. I'm getting there. Fast as I can go. I'll get it close to the other intersection. And it's at negative 3, 0. So I have negative 3, 0 and 5, 8. Those are my solutions. That is my answer. Now, the steps to get here. So first, graph it. Second, second, hit the second button and trace. That's 
let's calculate. Third, we go to number five, which is the intersection. That's number five. Fourth thing, enter twice, hit enter twice on first curve, second curve. And then fifth, when it is on guess, move, tracer. onto the intersection. And then hit enter. And repeat as many times as you need to find all the intersections. Moving on to 5E. So we have an example here, same thing. For solving this, we're not going to do it algebraically. I know you're sad. Uh, we're just going to do it graphically. So looking at this equation, first thing you have to do is solve for y. So on the first equation, I'm only going to do this for one of them. I'm going to get the y by itself. The y is already positive. So as long as, as long as I move everything to the other side, I'm good. It's y equals. So 2x squared, subtract 2x squared. 8x, negative 8x, add 8x. I know your middle school teacher told you never to do this. You have plus nine, subtract nine. Do this. We're left with a positive y, which is exactly what we want, equals negative two x squared plus eight x minus nine. And to zero, you can plus zero on the end if you want, but you don't, no need. The second equation, the second equation, if we do the same thing, the y is by itself. You get y equals positive 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. Now we're going to enter this into the calculator. Enjoy this. 